Hello everybody and welcome to my long-awaited loadout video. In this video I will cover my plate carrier and my belt setup as well as give you an overview of my entire kit. Additionally, I will create separate videos for my replica setup and for my helmet setup right here. Once they are published, you find the links down in the description and you find it in the top right corner here in the notification card. Also, go to my Instagram and check out some sweet outfit pics right there. The links to all this gear should be in the description below. First, a little disclaimer. This loadout is my decision with the experiences I made. You may not agree with a certain part of my gear, well, then do it differently on yours. Some goes with my replica stuff. I wear it to look cool. I don't live in my mom's basement and I don't get her credit card to spend on stuff. So I'm happy for you with your hashtag GMR please pack, but in the end of the day, I would still shoot you in the face with my crappy one. Yes, this is airsoft and I'm not doing real steel. Come on, I live in Germany or any kind of impression. Remember kids, we're all LARPers. So let's get to it, my plate carrier. The base is an Emerson JPC that has been modified to like fit my needs. Let's begin in the front right here. I've attached a Haley Strategic 3D CR chest rig. How did I do that? Well, you can't do it on a normal JPC, so I got my hands on some downrange gear clips you attach to any kind of plate carrier that don't come with clips to attach your chest rig. For example, a Mayflower APC comes with those clips, JPC does not, so that gives you the ability to put it on. Attach here on the side on the cummerbund and on to the chest rig and on the other side and on top. In the front of my plate here, so in my chest rig, I have four M4 magazines. I use the Amoeba type magazines. They work great for me and they feed with almost anything. So I have four magazines here uh, and they sit inside uh, Haley Strategic MP2 magazine pouch inserts. They are great, so they have some retention, they don't go flying. Then here in those little pouches, I have some pea grenades I stuffed with uh, some glitter, some microfiber uh, cloths to clean your goggles. Same goes here, some grenades and a fidget spinner for fidget kills. You never know how you control your enemy, either with uh, glitter gl glitter grenades or with a fidget spinner kill. Above that, I have the Milsim West Molly Phone Chest Deck as an admin pouch, and I use it usually to just hold some papers, uh, business cards, um, radio frequencies, if, you if I have to change my Baofeng frequencies to run with my squad. Um, then on both sides, I have uh, carabiners to attach some stuff. In this case, I have my goggles on here, my face masks, and here my mechanics gloves in green. It's just super handy if you're out in the field, in between games, you can put your helmet on here, all the stuff you don't want to carry around. In the bungee uh, supported pouch, I have a cyclone grenade. I absolutely hate it because it doesn't work. And I have to pretend on the pity of my enemies that they call their hits. Usually they're nice and they say yes but you much rather put like an Enola Gay flash grenade in here or a smoke grenade, that works way, way better. Or at OP Overwatch 3, I just stuffed a little water bottle in here so I could stay hydrated because I don't run a hydration pack on the back. And then of course I'm running some sweet patches on my stuff because you have to look cool. Um, here's my spearhead team patch I designed for myself and then props go out of course to my brother's Defcon 5 Hunter, his patch and a Nomad Airsoft from Northern Ireland. Underneath all of that, I run the um, Ferro Concepts Dangler and Ranger Green, also with a nice patch from my brother Cockler. And um, here I just usually have some more microfiber fiber gla uh, glass wipes in there to clean my goggles and some papers. And even sometimes I run sm smoke grenades in here or put kill cards in here. And then as my support on my shoulders i have the ferro concept shoulder pads they're super awesome super smooth and that makes like carrying this plate care for a long time a lot easier than just with the super not really actually uh, there's nothing there otherwise 
Also here on top of my shoulder strap, I attach with a, just a rubber band a Mids and West tourniquet just to look cool. They're not really uh, used here in Germany, but uh, it's a really nice piece of kit because no one has it here. Coming to my radio setup uh, on the left side of the plate carrier. As a righty, I make sure to have nothing here on the right side of my uh, plate carrier, so nothing can get in the way maneuvering and stuff. So my radio is on the left side. And uh, my radio is a Baofeng 5R Plus and it sits inside a Mids and West radio pouch, which is super awesome. It has an extended battery, so it longs very, very, very long. And the pouch is awesome. You can open it with the radio inside. You can access it, you can see everything and it doesn't make you to take it all the way out all the time. Then the antenna is routed to my back through a normal antenna cable. You could usually use also for your TV. It just attaches here into a secondary longer antenna. Then yeah, here this flexible antenna is pretty long and gives me a lot more range over the field. Uh, very useful in bigger games, milsims, whatever. Came in really, really handy at the beer zone as I could understand people from super far away, even with hills and forests in between. Uh, though sometimes it likes to get tangled up in stuff and it smacks you really hard in the head, it's still really, really, really useful. For the uh, PTT I'm using, I'm having a little workaround as I didn't want to spend so much on ear protection. So I use a cheap security style in-ear piece with a little clip, clip on mic, this, it's this one, and it goes right all the way, wait, where is it? Here I attach it with some uh, Ziploc and it goes right in my Baofeng right here, connects in here. That has some advantages. The setup I'm running, uh, I don't have to run the ear pro all the time on my ear to hear what my teammates are saying. So in the summer, in, 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 on hotter days, I like to run my ear pro up so I have some better ventilation underneath my helmet. But if I have this in my ear, I can still understand them even though I don't have my ear pro up uh, on. And then on the back side, I'm running a repro mini map for snacks, BBs, and other stuff. So, triggered yet? Now, coming to my belt setup, I have a Cobra style buckle and a two part belt. So, that means it comes with a Velcro belt that usually sits on your pants. And then you can quick attach your battle rig, battle line, whatever, um, for quick access and detach. So for my Elite Force 911 Tech, I run a simple IMI defense plastic holster. Nothing fancy and no, in airsoft you don't run into the problem that you shoot yourself in the foot, usually. Uh, on the left side, right here, right when I reach down with my left hand, I have my rubber knife, which over the time now has an impressive uh, knife kill body count Next to it. I have a combined like two bungee Pistol pouches. I run another uh, Second magazine for my 1911 in here and an emergency speed loader Behind that I have a scorpion mag carrier for my emergency M4 mag. This one is really easy holds it really really tight on the back I have a simple super simple cheap dump pouch that likes to get filled up with dirt, leaves, and other crap like these crappy knee pads and magazines, of course. Now to my BDU that's all the way underneath here. Usually I use the Afpro Striker Combat Pants in Stone Grey. Those pants are really awesome. Not only for airsoft, for outdoor, for everything else. They have a million pockets, even like little magazine inserts. But what's really special about them, they have no knee pads that can fly out, fly away, like all these other cry knee pads you see all spread all over the field, though they come separately. Uh, the openings also work for ventilation, so this is where you put the knee pads usually in. On hotter days, you can leave that open, ventilates a little bit more. It's really, really, really good. And like I said, it has a million pockets and has some really nice stretch around your crotch and on your butt. And then usually as a combat shirt, I use the true spec 
combat shirt in uh, Multicon Tropic because we're in Germany here. It's really green usually. And with your multicam, you more look like multi glam Christmas tree in the woods. So the greener tones really, really, really look well um, in the forest here. So this is usually what I go, go with. Oh, so recently I picked up, where is it? A sweet M81 um, combat shirt, nothing fancy, but works perfectly for me. It's TMC, but I don't care. I just want to look cool and I just want to look like glam on Instagram. So I thought, um, yeah, I give this a try. Uh, you had it at the beer zone, worked absolutely f fine for me. Also with it, I used some pants, like cry style, of, but not real cry. So I had the problem that the right knee pad was flying out at the end of the day so many times. I had to stuff it in my dump pouch where you just found it. So that's a huge bummer for me. This is why I really have to say the off pose, the way to go. Also, I like to wear my Desert Night Camo Parker. It's right here. In a more cold environment, I had a tailor lady actually shorten it a little bit on the button, so it's not so long anymore. It's more it's a, more of a normal jacket now, and I just wore it to run around at the beer zone, and it looks super cool, especially when you put your plate carrier over it. And yeah, that's all you want. As my shoes, I usually use some half high hiking boots, house brand of some American outdoor store, but they work perfectly, especially because the sole is pretty wide and gives you a very good support stand. And then for tougher terrain and longer games, I usually use my Hikes Kaska 3000 Comet boots I still have from my service at the German army. And that's about it guys. I hope you liked my little gear overview, whatever that was. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments down below and I would be happy to answer them. Also, you can send me DMs on Instagram, whatever you want. Um, Check also my profile out on Instagram, actually, for sweet low dog pics, awesome airsoft photography, all that other stuff. Uh, try to do some Insta story once in a while. And yeah, I hope you liked this video. Thanks so much. Don't forget to subscribe. And then until then, bye.